If you're looking to get rid of some small electronic devices next week, why not drop them off at the Pittsburgh Zoo and then get discounted admission? Chris DeRose has more on this electronic recycling program that goes to help the conservation of some pretty important animals. Do you like seeing interesting animals? Do you maybe need to get rid of one of these old things laying around your house? Well, next week, the Pittsburgh Zoo may be able to help you do both. Starting Sunday, April 21st, if you bring in an old cell phone, tablet, smartwatch, or digital camera to the Pittsburgh Zoo to be recycled or e-cycled, you'll get a discount on your zoo admission. What can be a $28 ticket for a day at the zoo will only be $15 with your contribution. Elizabeth Neal, the camps and community program manager at the zoo, says that this is a popular recycling event because it helps raise awareness about gorillas and it helps to save their species from extinction. So this program supports the Gorillas on the Line initiative and that's an AZA Gorilla Safe Conservation Program that aims to not only uh, raise money for gorilla conservation, but also to raise public awareness for some of the threats that gorillas are facing in the wild, namely habitat loss. And that's mainly due to the mining of materials that are needed to manufacture these electronic devices. Guests may bring in more than one device and receive that $15 admission for each device they bring in. But the zoo says make sure that you've cleared out all the data from your devices before bringing them in to be recycled. What happens after we collect those devices, we send them to a company called EcoCell, and this is what they do. They process those, those devices in a safe manner and recycle them all in the name of, of gorilla conservation. Now, discounted admission will be from Sunday, April 21st through Saturday, April 27th, but the zoo says the guests can still bring in their small electronic devices throughout the year to help protect the environment. More information on this story on our website, kdka.com. But for now, reporting at the Pittsburgh Zoo and Aquarium, Krista Rose, KDKA-TV News.